Hello, everyone. I'm going to give a brief statement and then happy to take uh, any questions that you might have. If you'd like the questions answered in French, my colleague and Deputy Leader Luc Bertold will answer those questions. Conservatives want to see uh, an end to the blockades. We want to see them ended peacefully and quickly uh, and in a way that Canadians feel that they've been listened to, heard and respected by their Prime Minister. We are concerned that the actions of the Prime Minister will not have that effect and in fact will have the opposite effect. Today the Prime Minister announced that he will be uh, in invoking the Emergencies Act. We have to take a look at what he's proposing and the rationale and Conservatives will discuss it and uh, make a determination in terms of whether we will support it or not. At first blush, we are very concerned with what we see. First and foremost, if you look across the country, provinces are not in agreement with what the Prime Minister is proposing. He uh, has uh, said he has consulted, but there, there really is not collaboration or agreement. Alberta is opposed to it, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, and Quebec. He's not off to a good start on that. Secondly, we have seen the Prime Minister continually wedge, divide, and stigmatize Canadians who he doesn't agree with. And by doing so, he creates uh, so many barriers in, in, in terms of trying to solve this problem. The Prime Minister had an opportunity to talk and to listen to people who he disagreed with, and he refused to do so. And so this looks like a, a ham-fisted approach that, uh, as I said, will have the opposite effect. Conservatives today offered uh, a, a reasonable solution that would at least bring down the temperature. We asked the House of Commons to vote on our motion, which asked the government to provide a plan uh, in terms of ending the lockdown. So we wanted just the plan in place by the end of this month. Not unreasonable, not an extreme ask, considering provinces are doing it and other jurisdictions are doing it as well. So there is concern with the Prime Minister's uh, typical way of dealing with people he disagrees with, uh, and this measure uh, does not alleviate those concerns that we have. But again, we're going to take a look at the legislation, we're going to take a look at the rationale and make our decision. Conservatives want the barricades to come down. We want this to end quickly and peacefully, but in a way that Canadians feel that they have been listened to and that their Prime Minister respects them. We are concerned that this measure will have the opposite effect. Thank you. Luke. Merci beaucoup. Comme vient de dire la chef de l'opposition officielle, on a Les conservateurs, d'abord et avant tout, veulent une fin pacifique et rapide au blocus euh, qui se déroule un peu partout au pays. Malheureusement, la décision d'aujourd'hui de Justin Trudeau d'invoquer la loi sur les mesures d'urgence, malheureusement pour nous, euh, nous laisse craindre que ça ne peut faire qu'empirer peut-être la situation. Euh, on vient de prendre connaissance des intentions du premier ministre. On va en parler avec les membres du caucus. Ce n'est pas une décision qu'on prend à la légère, donc on va étudier Euh, Qu'est-ce qui a mené le premier ministre à prendre cette décision-là? On va en discuter entre nous, puis on pourra euh, prendre une position de parti plus avant. Mais au premier coup d'œil, on a de sérieuses préoccupations sur la décision du premier ministre. Premièrement, c'est clair que le premier ministre n'a pas le support de toutes les provinces pour imposer euh, la loi des mesures d'urgence sur leur territoire. Deuxièmement, on connaît tous l'approche euh, qu'a décidé d'adopter le premier ministre face à ceux qui ne pensent pas comme lui, une approche qui divise et qui stigmatise. Donc, on a de sérieuses craintes sur la suite des choses actuellement. Euh, on a proposé aujourd'hui au premier ministre une solution, un plan euh, qui aurait permis d'apaiser les tensions probablement un peu partout au pays, c'est-à-dire on a demandé euh, au Parlement d'adopter une motion qui prévoyait la présentation d'un plan pour mettre fin aux mesures sanitaires et aux obligations vaccinales au fédéral d'ici la fin du mois de février. Malheureusement, les députés libéraux ont voté contre. Pire, ils ont applaudi la, le résultat du vote, euh, ce qui nous laisse euh, encore, encore aujourd'hui avec de sérieuses préoccupations sur la décision euh, par le premier ministre d'invoquer la loi sur les mesures d'urgence. Donc, comme je l'ai mentionné plus tôt, ce qu'on va faire aujourd'hui, Et dans les prochaines heures, c'est qu'on va en discuter avec les membres de notre caucus. C'est pas une décision qu'on prend à la légère quand on invoque la loi sur les mesures d'urgence. Euh, on pense que le premier ministre aurait pu avoir une approche beaucoup plus conciliante et écouter davantage les Canadiens. Mais ce qui nous préoccupe 
davantage en ce moment, c'est qu'on mette fin d'une manière pacifique et rapide au blocus. Et malheureusement, euh, la décision qui a été prise aujourd'hui par le premier ministre risque euh, d'envenimer la situation plutôt que d'apaiser les tensions. Well, first of all, I, I actually ask that the, the truckers uh, and their supporters remove any illegal blockades or barriers. Uh, uh, we very much support peaceful and legal protests. So uh, there are a number of things that the Prime Minister could have done. Uh, he certainly didn't help the situation by calling them names, by saying that their opinions were not acceptable, that they were misogynist and racist. He continually escalated and inflamed the situation. And we offered, we offered last week that we could get together and try to find some solutions. He did not take us up on that offer. And we find ourselves now in this situation, and it is entirely of his own making. That's police doing the good work that they should do. And we absolutely support our police officers doing that work. And, uh, and, and we are the party of law and order. So we, we think that they are, um, need to be supported in doing that work. I'm okay with peaceful, legal protests, and I, no, I think that people, the, the, the trucks should be moved, and uh, the blockade should be moved. So you're, you want them to go home, you want the truckers to get off Long Street right now? I'd like the blockades removed, I would like the barriers, conservatives would like the barriers removed peacefully and in a, in a quick manner. I want the trucks to be moved. I want the blockades to be removed. I want them to be moved quick, quickly and peacefully. Listen, I'm not here to tell Canadians whether they can come to Parliament Hill and peacefully and legally protest. I support that. My job is not to hold Canadians to account. My job is to hold the Prime Minister to account. And the Prime Minister has done a very poor job, and I'm trying to measure my words. He's done a dismal job managing this, showing Canadians that he disagrees with, that he respects them, even though he disagrees with them. So that's our position. We've been very clear on it. We support peaceful, legal protests, but we want these blockades and these barriers to be removed. We're the party of not only law and order, but of a strong Canadian economy, and both of those things are being heard. I'll, ta I'll, just, I'll take two more questions, so just to let you know. Yes. Bien, si je comprends la question, là, parce que j'ai un petit peu de la difficulté, là, ce, qui est, euh, ce qui met de l'huile sur le feu actuellement et ce qu'on craint qu'il ne fasse qu'escalader les tensions, c'est la décision prise par euh, Justin Trudeau aujourd'hui euh, de recourir à la loi sur les mesures d'urgence, alors que la majorité des provinces euh, s'opposent à l'application de cette loi-là sur leur propre territoire. On demande la fin des blocus de manière pacifique et rapide, donc on veut que les blocages illégaux se terminent. Euh, mais en même temps, euh, on ne s'oppose pas à ce que des Canadiens puissent manifester d'une manière pacifique. Cependant, tous les gestes illégaux, comme les blocus, euh, on doit effectivement y mettre fin euh, parce que c'est la manière dont on doit gérer comme parti qui euh, aspire à être le parti de la loi et l'ordre. Donc, c'est la manière dont gérer. Mais d'un autre côté, euh, Justin Trudeau a tout fait pour qu'on en arrive là. Il a été absent dans les premiers jours. Il a traité les manifestants de toutes sortes de noms. Et à la toute dernière minute, au lieu de les écouter, il a choisi d'utiliser la massue contre les manifestants, alors qu'on avait présenté une motion qui aurait permis d'apaiser les tensions aujourd'hui. Malheureusement, ils ont choisi une autre voie. C'est ce qui nous inquiète, c'est ce qui nous préoccupe beaucoup actuellement. On, on, le Parti conservateur a toujours supporté les euh, manifestations pacifiques, paisibles. Les Canadiens ont le droit de manifester. On est contre les blocus qui euh, 
sont présentement illégaux. Et ce qu'on dit, c'est qu'on doit mettre fin à ces blocus-là d'une manière rapide et pacifique. On a offert sur un plateau d'argent aujourd'hui une option au premier ministre. Il a choisi de lui tourner le dos, comme il le fait depuis le début face à toutes ces manifestations-là. Donc, euh, comme le dit la chef de l'opposition officielle, on est ici pour demander des comptes à Justin Trudeau. Justin Trudeau a des comptes à rendre à la population. Malheureusement, il ne l'a pas fait. Et on en est dans la situation qu'on est aujourd'hui, c'est-à-dire on invoque la loi sur les mesures d'urgence, alors que la majorité des provinces disent qu'ils ne veulent pas l'appliquer sur leur territoire. Sorry, who was that you referring to? Right. All right. Yeah. Uh, let me be very clear. We do not, and I do not, support illegal protests of any kind. That includes blocking infrastructure, blocking roads illegally, blocking streets, blocking intersections. I do not support. We are the party of law and order, and we believe that those should end. That's our position. And now, now I'll take one more. Well, here's what conservatives do support. We support Canadians speaking their voice, talking about their concerns. There are many of us that met with constituents. There's a big difference between listening to constituents, hearing concerns, listening to Canadians, maybe even saying, I disagree with you. I can say to these people who are here in their trucks, I want to listen to you, I want to hear what you have to say, But I disagree, you need to be following the law and you need to be obeying the law. As Conservatives, we believe that we can do both of those things. We can be strong advocates for law and order and listen to people and not call them names and not them ins insult them, which is what the Prime Minister has done. This, it, it's not just this protest here, it's across the country, is squarely at the foot of Justin Trudeau. That's why these people are upset. That's who's disrespected them. That's who's ignored them, called them names. And he is now having, having to bear the fruit of his actions. Thank you very much. I'll let my colleague answer off on stage. If you need to. Can you sleep through the horn? Can you sleep through the fireworks? My, my guess is you live downtown, right? So Downtown, yeah, so they must be, I don't. Do you deal with the noise? I, truthfully, I, I haven't had a lot of noise. I do have, a, uh, I, I'm right downtown. But I also have my white noise. I'm a white noise person, so I have my white noise app going on. But that's, that's obviously very difficult. I think we're good. Thank you. Thank you.